our farm, McLeaf's Orchard. Uh, my grandfather was a Rice, Ronald Rice, and uh, I got it. I bought, purchased the farm from him um, in 1999. It's been in the Rice family since 1888, over 100 years. Um, we have recently put it in farm land preservation. Our farm primarily consists of apples, peaches. We've added vegetables um, to the program as we started doing farmers markets. Um, we tried to gear more towards the fresh uh, market. Um, when I took over the farm, it was mostly primarily processing apples. Um, so we're gearing more towards fresh. As a small farm, this farm's 52 acres. Um, we just needed to diversify. Um, we're doing farmers markets. Every generation that's had the farm has done farmers markets. We put this grow tunnel up for um, growing vegetables to get them a little bit earlier, primarily tomatoes um, for market. Um, we are competing at markets with um, Northern Virginia growers that have produce earlier than what we do. So these are our solar panels. Um, we put them in last uh, spring and primarily they're for electricity for our, um, our cold storage to help offset the cost and to go more green. For using IPMs here at McLeaf's, um, the latest and best thing that we're doing is pheromone mating disruption. Um, these little ties, we put those on the tree, around the top of the tree, and uh, it disrupts the mating process of OFM and some of our pests that we have in our orchard. Um, we hang traps in the orchards and check them weekly to see what kind of pressures that we do have. Um, with hanging these, this will be my fifth year. Last year we put on two pesticide sprays. Um, that's all we put on because of the mating disruption. Now there are, are other pests that we cannot use these with, so we do need to spray. We're, we have one spray that we need to spray during basically dormant, so we've already sprayed the pesticide on the tree. We started doing farmer's markets uh, four years ago, uh, actually five now, five years ago. Uh, we started in Baltimore, a uh, very small market. Now we're up to four a week we do. Um, on Tuesdays, we're in Baltimore and Pikesville. In, on Thursdays, we're in Potomac, Maryland. Uh, on Saturdays, we do two markets. Uh, my wife does Vienna, Virginia on Saturday, and I do the 14th and U market on Saturday. Um, all the markets seem to be doing very well, um, and it, it's, it's just wonderful to be able to to be in contact with the consumer in doing all of this. You can educate the consumer. Um, and that's the key that I find, just educating the people that, the customer that is buying produce from us, just to educate them.